Colombo, MDTV, in the trenches with Jeff Long and Chris Lacompany. All right, guys. Um, and this is probably your first time here at uh, Beth Francis Powerhouse Gym? Yes. All right, Jeff. Uh, I know you guys came from New Jersey. You were sitting in a lot of traffic. You're probably real aggravated. Uh, what are we training today? Uh, biceps and triceps. All right. Um, no one can see yet, but I've seen you guys already, and you're two pretty big guys. Uh, how old are you, uh, Chris? I just turned 26. And what's your uh, competition background? Uh, last year I won the light heavies at the East Coast, and uh, the year before I won the light heavies and the overall at the Muscle Beach. All right, so you got a few titles under your belt. What, is, what, what are your upcoming uh, expectations for uh, contests? Uh, well, I'm planning to take this year off, put on a little extra size, uh, some more quality muscle. I'm looking to come in and do the Junior Nationals in uh, 08. Same question, Jeff. Uh, what shows have you done, and uh, what, what's coming up? Uh, I took first place in the Gold's Classic in 04. Um, last year, 06, took 6 at the uh, Eastern USA's and 16th at the Nationals. And what do you got, uh, what do you got plans for the future? Uh, it's coming bigger and harder at this year's Nationals and hopefully uh, make the top three or even win. And uh, how old are you? 24. So we got two babies here. I feel like I remember when I was your guy's age. And I see John O'Regan over there. He's, he's nodding. He remembers too, but uh, that was a long time ago. All right, so we're training arms here at the, at the gym. Um, you guys probably feel like a bunch of kids in a playground here because this gym has got everything. You know, it's got a lot more equipment than most gyms have. Um, let me go to you, Jeff, first. What, what, are we, what are we starting off here with, biceps or triceps? Uh, biceps. Uh, just starting off with basic uh, preacher curls. Um, hit the lower peak of the bicep and uh, a couple sets of 8 to 10 reps. Now, why do you like to start with preacher curls? Most people use that as a finishing movement. Is there a reason why you, you start with them? Uh, to get some blood pumping into the biceps as a warm-up. So do you do working sets, or are you just using these as like a, as like a light warm-up? First set, usually a warm-up, then last, second and third set is a working set. Okay, so you, you're starting off with these, and uh, do you find that this is more of like a pre-exhaustion type of exercise? Yeah. Chris, you got a little more to say than that? Yeah, I mean, uh, usually, uh, you know, my buys are the uh, the body part that I'm looking to bring up most in uh, the soft season. Um, so usually I try to hit my buys first before tries, uh, especially trying to. I, have a, I naturally have a short bicep, so um, you know I thought my best bet is to try to build up my peak, and preachers are a great exercise to do that. Okay, so you're prioritizing, you know, what you need to work on as far as weaknesses in the bicep muscle. And I think that's a uh, that's a, a decent idea. You know, I, I sometimes like to switch around the order of the uh, movements. I don't believe that there should be one type of exercise per se that you do first or second or third. Um, but you know, I've used a lot of pre-exhaustion myself in, in bringing up leg and body parts. How many sets do you, uh, do you Chris, do you usually routinely do when you uh, train your biceps? Uh, biceps it pretty much goes anywhere between 10 and 13 uh, 10 and 13 sets uh, depending on the day if I'm training heavy um, if I'm going you know higher weight maybe I'm not going to do as many sets uh, it pretty much depends I try to switch up the workout as often as I can and that's just biceps just for biceps right and uh, do you guys uh, Jeff are you guys training partners together or are you just training here today no we're training partners for the last uh, I would say year and a half two years and where in New Jersey do you guys live uh, Mount Laurel New Jersey Gotcha, gotcha. All right, um, Chris, give us a little, um, like, talk us through this movement. What are you really concentrating on at this point, and what, what, what is, what's the most important aspect of this movement to you? Uh, here I'm just trying to keep a slow, deliberate motion, uh, concentrating on a, getting a good squeeze at the top of the peak, and also a good long stretch. Um, try to, you know, this isn't one of my stronger movements, so I tend to go a little bit lighter with this and try to rep it out a little bit. Usually uh, going with heavier weight with biceps hasn't worked too well for me in the past, so try and, uh, trying to keep up with Jeff for the first couple of sets, and then uh, it's in my best interest to, uh, to keep it at a moderate weight. Yeah, I, th I feel a lot of people try to also lift too much weight with their biceps, and then they wind up using their front delts, and they wind up cheating and using momentum, and they don't really get the most out of it. Um, I actually found that my biceps really didn't start responding until I started doing more concentration movements like with cables and and um, um, just working really on the feel of the muscle rather than grabbing a big straight bar and, and, and hurling up as much weight as I can. Now, uh, Jeff, your, uh, your development in the uh, bicep area, although no one could see it because you had a shirt on, I know is, 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 is pretty intense. Uh, what could you, uh, what do you what do you think is the result? Which exercise do you think is the most potent exercise as far as uh, bicep development for you? 
For me, I would say uh, preacher curls and then um, pretty much basic uh, barber curls, straight bar. So you like preachers the best? Yeah. Now, you know, your arms look a little shorter than uh, Chris's, and I don't know if they really are. Uh, I always notice the guy with the short. The guys with the short arms usually have a little bit easier time uh, building biceps. Um, how long have you been working out now, Jeff? Um, I've been training since I was nine. So if you add math in there, it's probably about 15 years. Wow! Did you ever compete as a teenager? No. Really? What What made you decide to all of a sudden start competing? Um, I maybe mean, I got through the shyness um, when I was about 21. Then I started to compete. I see. So you weren't just like a. You weren't just a guy who just took a shirt off and started posing in the middle of a family picnic then, huh? No, not at all. <laughs> uh, what about you? When, how did you get into tra training, and, and when did you first start competing? Uh, pretty much started, you know, through high school sports. I wrestled, I played football all through high school, and it was kind of an up-and-down thing. I put on some weight for football, and then wrestling season would come, and I'd lose all that weight. So I was happiest in the spring when I could uh, put a little more size back on. Then, uh, and I was actually, you know, I've always been a naturally a, a smaller guy. I wrestled at uh, 140 pounds my senior year in high school. And uh, once I got after high school, you know, I kind of used this to fill the time after I wasn't playing sports anymore. So I missed the competition, and this was kind of a natural fit. I've al always uh, kind of gravitated towards the weight room. I, I noticed that uh, you guys don't spot each other. It's, it's every man for himself. I was, <laughs> I was busting you guys' balls a little earlier about that. And, uh, uh, what's, what's the deal with that, uh, Chris? Uh, well, we kind of got a mentality where uh, if you can't lift the weight, don't pick it up in the first place. So uh, <laughs> once you're in, you're, uh, you're on your own.